Hey there. I just wanted to make a quick Saturday afternoon video here. So I've had this Ego blower and battery pack that I've been using for a while and I just upgraded my mower and weed trimmer also to the Ego. So I've got an additional battery here. I've been really happy with the two. They're really quiet. They're powerful. I don't have a very big lawn so they've been working really well. I don't have to deal with gasoline and things like that. And I can also mow later in the evening because you can really hardly even hear the mower at all. But anyway, I've got these two battery packs here on their chargers and I've got them sitting on this shoe rack and they're kind of taking up space here. So I'd like to put them on the wall. And also I think it would be a lot easier to remove these if I could actually just have them up here on the wall. So I just use a stud finder quick. Looks like we got a stud right here. And on the back side of each of these chargers, we've got a couple of spaces here for screws. Um, so instead of just putting screws right in the wall here, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to create uh, a little board to hook both these on and screw that onto the wall exactly where I need it. So let's get down in the workshop and just create something quick. I'm starting out with a piece of scrap hardwood I had. Plywood would also be a good choice for a backing piece. Once I had a piece cut to width and length, I propped up the chargers and marked out where the screw slots line up. Then I drilled pilot holes for screws and secured the screws in place. I test fitted the chargers on the screws. I drilled a second set of holes for the charger on the right. This was to move the charger down a bit and line up the indented part of the charger with the top of the backer board. I cut a few small pieces to add to that ledge, as you can see here. This will help prevent the charger from sliding off the hanging screws when the battery is pulled up and off the charger. I drilled pilot holes and screwed the locking pieces in place. I then disassembled for paint, and since there was an existing finish on the scrap wood, I gave each piece a light sanding and then removed the dust with a tack cloth. I put on a coat of primer and then when dry, added a coat of paint to match the garage wall. Once the paint was dry, I added the slot screws again. Then marked the piece for center and drilled pilot holes for the screws that will anchor it to the garage wall. It was then time to fasten the backer to the garage wall. I slid the chargers onto the screws and then secured them in place with the two locking pieces. I twisted the cords together for a clean look and plug them into the outlet. So we've got this fully installed, so let's give it a try and see how it works out. Really easy to put on there and see how easy it is to get off. I think you can even do it one handed here. Grab one of these. Throw it on your blower when you're done. One handed operation. So yeah, that's really nice that you can just one hand it before you had to use one hand to hold the charger and the other to pull the battery. Um, and it cleans it up a bit, gives me a little more space on the shoe rack, so I'm pretty happy with this. Hopefully anybody else that has some Ego tools and one or two battery chargers can use this idea. Leave some comments in the comment section. Thanks.